But this injury report is brought to you by Shenderovich, Shenderovich, and Fishman. They've got your back, not your wallet. Troy Faltanu, man, he's going to be out, according to Jerry Dulac, for the next two weeks. Uh, they're hoping to get him back quicker than that, but I think that's reasonable. He is not going to start game one. There is a 0% chance. The injury plus the performance. Look, he's going up against Daniil Hunter. He gives up a sack. Hunter had 16 and a half sacks last year for Minnesota. That's a big boy. That's a big time pass rush. Yep. And then the 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 second sack he gave up was against another really good player, whose name of course Anderson? is now escaping me when I need it. Was it Anderson? It was. Hmm. Pardon me, Jerry Hughes. Oh, Jerry. Okay. Who has 70 sacks in his career? Yeah. So you got you got two dogs, and you give up two sacks. It's not the end of the world. You're a young player. You're work in progress, but you couple the poor performance with now you ain't practicing for the next two weeks. Yes, it's going to be Broderick at right, Dan Moore at left. Yeah, it, it's going to happen. And so I have a problem with that too because that's what they came out with yesterday. Dan Moore Jr. is by just about every measure one of the worst left tackles in the NFL. Just play Broderick at left and, and Dan Moore Jr. at right until Troy Faltano is healthy and shows his worth. Because like, when Fatanu comes back, you want him at right tackle. The, this idea that they're that now you're going to go into the season with Broderick at right and Dan Moore at left because you had success with it last year. I get that you had success with it last year. It's not last year anymore. It's this year. So put Broderick at left, damn it, and put Dan Moore Jr. at right as the placeholder. Because Colbert has – Colbert. Because Omar Khan has said they have always had designs on Broderick being their left. So when Faltanu is back and healthy and ready to go, now you're going to have to screw around with multiple positions? Maybe they put Faltano at left. But then that would go against what Omar said. Well, I mean, Faltano had 40 starts at left tackle in college. That's he, probably he, his natural position. That might be why he got beat on Saturday or on Friday. That's a good theory. That's a good theory. Give him he, a chance, you know, to, to actually beat somebody out at a position that he's comfortable with. Yeah, 35-plus games. If Roger's best left tackle good, in the country. If he's playing really good at right, and Dan Moore Jr. is not playing good at left, and Faltano has reps and has a body of work of being a left tackle, I would just slide him over just at left for this year. There's probably a, a much larger conversation to be had about all of this. Like, how how can Faltano even play his way in now? No, no, he can't. Like Unless he, for his injury. Right, uh -huh. even into the season. Because uh -huh. the reps you saw in stadium, bad, and then he's going to be hurt, and it's going to be, what, the week before the season yeah. or thereabouts? You're already rolling. You're, you are way. You're three game plans deep. Yes. Yes. At that point. You are so far behind the eight ball. It, you hate hyperbole? Disastrous turn of events for him in the way that he played and then getting hurt? Disastrous for his 2024 season. Can't write him off. He gonna be your, he's gonna be your swing guy, but disastrous. And that's the injury report. Yay! Brought to you by Shenderovich, Shenderovich, and Fishman. They've got your back, not your wallet.